It was Saturday morning, October 23, 1982, when Cochise County Sheriff's deputies entered Miracle Valley to serve traffic tickets on members of the controversial all-black Christ Miracle Healing Center and Church. A confrontation erupted. Church members Augusta Tate and William Thomas Jr. were fatally shot by deputies. The incident was preceded by a history of trouble in the small community, including a school boycott, a bombing that killed one church member, a hammer-throwing attack against a TV news crew, and fighting outside Buena High School at nearby Sierra Vista. The church members have now gone home, back to Chicago. The Christ Miracle Healing Center and Church is now empty. But the ramifications of the events that took place there will be evident for a long time to come. Some 21 church members were charged with riot and assault in connection with the October 1982 shooting. But now Pima County Superior Court Judge Thomas Meehan is ready to dismiss charges against all the defendants. The reason is that Cochise County is unable to pay for the defense of the indigent church members as required by state law. Prosecutors who want the charges dismissed so that they can be refiled claim that financial problems are the only reason the trial cannot continue. But defense attorneys claim that the county has other motives for not wanting the Miracle Valley trial to take place. The defense wants the charges dropped with prejudice so that they can never be refiled. At the heart of those motives, according to defense attorneys, are other pending legal actions. The county and various county officials are named in a $75 million civil rights lawsuit brought by the church members. There are two investigations into the shooting, one by the Department of Public Safety, which is continuing. Last Friday, an attorney for the DPS told the hearing that at this time, the chief investigator apparently finds the church members' version of the shooting more credible than that of the deputies.